A couple announcements real quick. The first is we want to just say thanks to uh, everybody for allowing your kids to join us for Vacation Bible School this week. It's been a lot of fun for us adults. And uh, this is the biggest group we've ever had at Vacation Bible School. So we, we certainly appreciate uh, you all allowing us to join us. We, we would also like to uh, please ask you if you have time to join us afterwards for hot dogs and watermelon uh, outside. Uh, hopefully it won't rain on us. I know we would like uh, we would like for the rain, but hopefully it won't rain right now. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about who won here at the very end. We have a contest. Uh, hey guys, picture of this, okay? We, we, we did have a contest this week. Uh, as, a, as a church, we wanted to give back to the community. We chose to have a boys versus girls contest to see who could bring the most drinks for the, uh, the local firefighters who do a lot for our community. And we will announce the winner at the end here. There's a little prize associated that the kids know about. Um, also, the, uh, the, the inflatables outside, we'd like to say thank you to uh, Slater Bounce Around. They donated those for this evening. certainly appreciate them doing that, and uh, we would like to invite the kids to play on them as long as they want after we're done with the program tonight, so uh, have a lot of fun. I'm, I'm sure the big kids will have as much fun as the little kids, so uh, we'll try and keep the big ones off there. Um, other than that, this week what we've been doing is we've actually been learning God's recipe for living. And now we're ready to carry it out into the world. So thank you for letting your chefs take part in these activities. We've had a great time. We want to show you what we did here at Shake It Up Cafe. What we learned about cooking, we discovered that people in Bible times did a lot of celebrating. Uh, we heard about festivals that were celebrated back then and some that are still celebrated today. My assistant at the cafe has been out of town studying with the great chef Romano. Of course, with Chip gone, I needed a new sous chef, and I know he's around here somewhere. Guys, have you seen Scraps? No! no. I'll, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to go try and find him while you guys theme our, sing our theme song for everybody. Hey, everyone up!
All right, in each session, we learned a Bible story, a Bible by memory verse, and the secret ingredient from the recipe for hearing out God's Word. Yeah, uh, I remember our first Bible story came from the book of Exodus, where it takes place when the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. We learned about the Passover meal and how God gave them instructions for what to eat and how to prepare it. The people had to eat with their clothes on and their walking sticks in their hands, so they were ready to go when God told them to. Our first ingredient is be ready for God.
our second lesson, we learned that Jesus celebrated many of these festivals during his lifetime. We heard about Jesus' Jesus's visit to Jerusalem, where he celebrated the festival of booths. As the priest brought in the water on the last day, Jesus told the people to come to him and drink if they were thirsty. And our second secret ingredient is to not just sort of, not just kind of, but really believe fully in Jesus. Shake it up! Shake it up! Oh, come on, guys. We can do better than that. It's to really believe in Jesus. Shake it up! The Bible line for this lesson comes from John 14, 1. Jesus said to the disciples, Believe in God, believe also in me. I think we have another song, don't we? We do. Okay, could I have my third and fourth graders Thank you. 
our last lesson, we celebrated the festival of weeks as told in the book of Acts. The festival was held every year after the wheat harvest. Yeah, in this celebration, people came from all the nations to bring their offerings to the temple in Jerusalem. The city was crowded with people speaking different languages. We learned that from time from the time Jesus celebrated the Passover meal to the time of this festival, Jesus had been killed on a cross, buried in a tomb, and raised from, from the dead to live forever with God in heaven. During part of the festival, the disciples were in a room in Jerusalem together. The Holy Spirit came to them in the sound of a great wind. Yeah, and our final secret ingredient, you guys know what it is? Celebrate God forever. Shut up! But again, let's give Sandy a big, big round of applause. Big round of applause. The girls' attendance total for today was 71. 71. Oh,
I have never seen a group of kids who participated like this group has. They've been wonderful. Thank you, Kathy. What, is, what was the final total for drinks we're giving to the, the fire department? Well, the total number. 1,152. Wow. Okay, a big, a big thank you to all the staff and especially our youth, uh, youth assistants. Thank you, parents, for letting us have your children for a week. Almost a week. Seems like a week, no. <laughs> we, we'd like to invite you guys back Sunday too. We're going to have the kids yes. sing a song uh, during the service. So if, if you can uh, if you can attend or if your children can attend, we'd love to have you. And if you don't have a church family, we, we'd always love to have you that, for that matter as well. And let's introduce Pastor Ben right quick so they'll know who he is. Pastor Ben. That's our pastor. In case you don't know who he is, that's Pastor Ben. Hey guys, we're done. You're welcome to go out and play and uh, have some hot dogs. Have a good time. Thanks again for coming.